Hi guys. Nowadays spring in Russia is not as warm as I wanted it to be and I uh, put on my spring jacket too early so it's really cold. But it's not a, it's not a reason to stop experiments and although uh, I told you before that my experiments are over and I'm ready to shoot the whole shooting season with uh, this very setup. I couldn't lose an opportunity to check the choke cutting and to continue the choke cutting tests because I had access to the lathing machine. I finished everything I wanted to finish and I had two extra liners. And, uh, one of them had only one centimeter of choke, so the pellet starts pushing harder only within about one centimeter, it's about half an inch even less before the barrel ends, before the crown and the second one had only five millimeter of choke left it's about one fifth of, of an inch and you know during pushing the pellet I studied carefully how the pellet looks like after it's being pushed because I have rather sufficient experience pushing the pellets through the, through the barrels and studying how they look like and I know that it may affect and my opinion, my feeling was that the very last barrel with the smallest choke uh, gave correct pellet deforming so to say and I had a feeling that it will shoot well and you know I really liked the result it gave to me because uh, it gave rather stable result with high accuracy. I will remind you that I shoot to 110 yards distance, it's 100 meters distance. Of course I had one flyer per 10 shots in each group, I've tested it, but it's the matter of upgoing tuning of uh, my liner. I will polish it, will remake the crown and will make special pellet entrance. So I'm, I'm sure I can upgrade the result. But probably I will make it later because uh, after that I continued my experiments with my main barrel. And it's the barrel with uh, which I've got the second place on Extreme Bench Race 2021. And as you remember I've upgraded it up to 25 millimeters of carbon fiber. Now it's about one inch. It's rock solid and it gives good results for me. And I decided to check the adjustment of the gun. I had some time in my workshop uh, working with uh, regulator pressures and found good adjustment that allowed me to have almost the same velocities uh, at power settings from 23 to 18. And of course, if I had this opportunity, I've got to use it. I've got to check which hammer strike, and we understand that hammer strike differs in each position, gives the best accuracy. Although all these positions from, I think that even from 16 to 23, three are within high accuracy velocity range for this projectile. I remind you that it's GSB Monster Redesigns 22 caliber, 25 grains. And it was really interesting for me to tell you the truth. I've got a very small amount of uh, these good pellets. Uh, those are old ones of 2017 that uh, give really good result. So I've shot five shots groups to 100 meters distance and 23 22, 21 didn't give me a satisfying result. But when I came to power setting 20, 19 and 18, I had groups by five shots much less than an inch. And it was very good. Uh, so I found out that although there, there were just three meters per second difference, it's just uh, 8 feet per second, something like that. Accuracy differed a lot and I'm absolutely sure that it's not the matter of velocity, it's the matter of the whole system vibration after the hammer hits the valve. 
And now I know that if I want to get good accuracy, I've got to use setups from 18 to 90 and I will get good results. So every time before going to competitions, before start shooting, I will check the velocity and will find the best one between 18, 19 and 20. So that's all. I'm absolutely happy with that result. And after that I decided to make 10 shot groups with uh, 20 position but with different pellets. They were uh, GSB Monster Designs of the 18th year and they were not perfect at, at all and wind started. So of course it was not below 1 MOA but as for me I have a feeling that it was uh, a wind effect. So. I'm satisfied with that result, I'm absolutely satisfied. After that I decided to try 26 grain pellets that I made with 4 molds. Uh, you've got to understand that it's a prototype and um, I will receive several pistons that will allow me to make different skirt types to get the better accuracy. But as for me, 2 MOA or even less with pellets that you made make by yourself from the mold are rather good to that distance it's 110 yards distance but we will continue our experiments thanks to guys who make these molds you know it's really interesting it's really interesting especially when you have this very little amount of your extra accurate pellets and you want to make yourself pellets just for training purposes not for competitions because competitions doesn't don't allow us to shoot not factory made pellets and it's quite understandable so to say after that I decided to shoot with GSB Monster Designs 2021 that are of rather low quality to compare them with uh, 2017, 2018 and some batches of 2019 you will see all the results so I had very interesting day of experiments today although it was cold but I had this opportunity and I've got to use it and I did it and I'm absolutely satisfied with it. Thanks for watching. I hope that you will have fun watching me shooting with Raspberry Scope Cam recorded video so you will see it exactly the same picture as I did. Bye guys. Two hundred ninety five. Two hundred ninety five.
Two hundred ninety six. Two hundred ninety six. 